Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is a Reef Automation tutorial for the GHL Provolux series. In this video, we're going to go over the dashboard and how to manipulate it. So let's get started. So when you first log into your GHL, you're going to see a screen similar to this. Depending on what you have, you can add and subtract different things to the dashboard. Typically, if you don't see the dashboard up front, you can click on the three lines and then hit dashboard and it'll get you right to it. Up at the top will show you your notifications and you can click on the notifications and go right to whatever that notification is. So in this case it showed me that I had a reminder for a water change. So let's go back to dashboard. So in the dashboard as you can see I have a chart, maintenance, feed mode, time, sensor, switch channels. But again you can edit whatever you'd like here. So if you click on the paintbrush here you can actually move uh, the different tiles by clicking on the move and holding it down with the mouse or if you're using a phone you'd hold down with your phone you can then move the tiles around to which however you see fit you can also delete a tile so let's say I didn't want to see my charts I can hit the delete when I'm done I can hit the check mark if I hit the X it'll go back to what it was such as an undo so if I go back to here then I hit add I can add a couple different things so for instance if I want to add my webcam I can add a webcam I can come up here and I can add my level sensors a cage director flow sensors a number of different things here if I click on dosing pumps I can add my dosing pumps if I had dosing pumps um, we can add the cage director here which will give us our alkalinity value right here takes a second or two to load uh, new panels and we'll wait for that to go in there now when you get into here you're gonna see that there's a looks like kind of like a tic-tac-toe if you click on the tic-tac-toe it gives you more options so if you only want to see one row for your dosing pumps you can click on that let's say on your sensors here you wanted to have three rows instead of two rows you can put three rows here you can edit it if you wanted to have one row for instance if you hit the paintbrush mode here you can also edit what is actually inside so if, for instance if I just want to see my temperature and my ORP or redox I can click on this if I go to the paintbrush here I can enable and disable certain switch channels that I want to see and be able to control them from here if I wanted to activate a manual control of my switch channels I can do it right here so for instance, if I wanted to just turn on my heater right away, I could do it right here. I also have my feed pause and my maintenance modes. So if I clicked on my feed pause, it would give you a timeout or a uh, countdown, and you can stop it. And same thing with maintenance here, which is pretty nice. If you click on the three lines next to the particular uh, device, it'll go straight to the programming of that device. So if I click on the dashboard again and I wanted to add flow sensors, I can add my flow sensors here and give me what's going on with the flow sensors and their value. I don't have any float sensors in here. So that's basically the dashboard in a nutshell. Uh, I could go to my time here and edit the time if I wanted to. I can edit the date. Um, Pretty basic, uh, simple tutorial on how to use the dashboard. But this is how the dashboard looks. This is how the dashboard operates. You can see there's a little bit of a lag uh, depending on if you're going to be adding to it or moving ar around. It does take a second. We we'll click on the three dots just to let you know on the top. You can go into the knowledge base right away if you wanted to or into the app settings. So that's pretty much it for the GHL dashboard tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. And hope you liked the video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.